Frogs are amphibians, humans are mammals, and we both reside under the giant umbrella of this animal kingdom. But we are so different. Well, really, are we that different? I mean, we have so much in common. It's it's a little difficult to believe, right? But you will agree with me by the end of this video. Trust me. Because in this video, I'll compare your digestive system with the digestive system of frogs. How about that? Let's begin. So how do you put food into your mouth? With the help of your hands, obviously. But frogs, they do it with the help of their tongue. They open their mouth, extend their bilobe tongue just like Spider-Man grabs onto an insect and folds their tongue back into their mouth. And that's how they get their breakfast, lunch and dinner. I wish it was that easy for us to get food. Now that they have food inside, what do you think they do? They will chew the food, right? Wrong. It is us humans who chew food. We have different kind of teeth that chew food, mix it with saliva and puts it down through the esophagus into our stomach. But when it comes to frog, they do have teeth uh, on both their jaw and sometimes on their palate as well. All same shape very small very tiny but they don't use them to chew their food instead their teeth is to grasp and hold food until it is swallowed and you know what's amazing about frog teeth they can get it replaced as many times as they want if it gets lost or broken and injured they will get it replaced but for us we poor humans only get it twice in our lifetime well now if you're wondering Hey, uh, we didn't find any similarity yet. Uh, the process of ingestion is different. The process of chewing food is different. And you are talking about similarity between these two organisms. How are we even similar? Wait a second. The similarity will start from now on. The moment they gulp their food, it goes into the esophagus. Everything from the esophagus is all the same. With a little exception here and there, it's all exactly the same. Now before we move ahead and compare other parts of the digestive system, let's quickly brush through our own digestive system, which we are all familiar with, right? So our digestive system starts with our mouth, the buccal cavity. Then we have a pipe that uh, through which the food moves down to our stomach and this pipe is called esophagus. The food then moves down to our stomach. This is the stomach. The stomach opens into this duodenum, which is, a, which is a part of the small intestine. Okay, let's just write small intestine here. The stomach opens into the small intestine. From the small intestine, the undigested food material moves to this large intestine. And finally, the waste products are defecated out through the anus, right? This is our digestive system. Now, this elementary canal is just a pathway for the food to enter and get out of the body, right? The actual breakdown or digestion of the food is done by various enzymes and digestive juices secreted by different uh, glands and organs of the body. For example, the stomach secretes an acid called HCL. And it also secretes various ad other digestive juices. Then we have uh, the liver. The liver secretes bile. And this bile is stored in this green pouch that you see in the picture called the gallbladder. Okay. And then we also have the pancreas which is on the other side not shown in this picture. And uh, that secretes its own digestive juices. And they are all sent out to the first part of the small intestine uh, just after the food leaves the stomach it meets those digestive juices from the liver and the pancreas okay and they are both sent out through the common bile duct it is called the common bile duct because both bile and the digestive juices from the pancreas comes out through the same route okay now the major chunk of digestion and absorption of food takes place in the small intestine okay now, I assume that you already know about the lining of the small intestine. It is very folded to increase the surface area of the lining so that more food can be absorbed. These folds are called villi. And these villi have small, small folds on top of them. Okay, They don't look as smooth as this. They look like these. This villi also has projections on them. And these are called microvilli. Because they are very tiny, okay? 
and again they are nothing but the intestinal lining extremely folded just to increase the surface area for more efficient absorption okay so this is a very basic oversimplified version of the human digestive system now let's move on to the digestive system of frogs yes i know it nowhere looks like the human digestive system but trust me whatever we just discussed holds true for the frog as well so let me quickly introduce you to this alien looking structure which is nothing but the digestive system of frog so it starts with the buccal cavity just like us which is not shown in the picture but just imagine that they have their mouth somewhere here and the food from the mouth moves into this pipe like thing which is nothing but the esophagus okay so this is the esophagus the food runs down through the esophagus into the stomach now as you can see they don't have very clear cut distinction between the stomach and the esophagus just like we we, we humans have but uh, this bulging out portion that you see is the stomach then the semi digested food from the stomach moves into the intestine this is the small intestine and the later part of this tube is the large intestine so let us just write intestine here this is the intestine and this part here is the end part of the large intestine which uh, we have not labeled here but but it is called the rectum even in humans okay so this is the rectum Now apart from the similarity in the alimentary canal all other glands and digestive juices are also similar here this brown colored flaps on both sides are nothing but the liver of the frog this is how it looks and this green pouch here is the gall bladder the pancreas is not shown here in the picture but again uh, the gall bladder and the pancreas release their secretions exactly the same way as in humans through a common bile duct and it is released onto the semi digested food that comes down from the stomach so that was a lot of similarities what do you think i told you right we have so much in common the digestive juices are similar the alimentary canal is almost the same but again they are amphibians we are much advanced human beings mammals right so we will have a lot of differences for sure and the major difference lies here at the end of the alimentary canal as you can see i have not labeled the anus here because it is not an anus it is called the cloacal aperture the opening is called the cloacal aperture and the end part of the rectum is called the cloaca cloaca comes from the latin word which means drain or the sewer and it is called so because the cloaca or the cloacal aperture is the exit point for multiple bodily systems not just the feces as in case of anus in humans the cloacal aperture is for the release of eggs and sperms and also for the solid and liquid waste but in case of humans particularly human female have different openings for urine for defecation and for childbirth right but uh, in case of frog everything is sent out of the body through just one opening called the cloacal aperture and this yellow thing that you see on both sides of the rectum is nothing but the urinary bladder and as you can see it is opening into the rectum letting all the urine come out through the cloacal aperture so this brings us to the end of the digestive system of frogs but uh, when we discuss about frogs or amphibians we cannot forget that they have a larval stage as well thankfully we humans don't have a larval stage we are born like human babies so right from when we are born this is how our alimentary canal looked like right but in frog larva which we call the tadpole which are exclusively aquatic and they are strict herbivores now the plant based diet of herbivores contains cellulose which is a very complex carb and it is very difficult to break that down due to the rigid cell walls right so that is why the digestive tract or alimentary canal is longer in herbivores than in carnivores so uh, the larval stage the tadpole stage has longer digestive uh, tract compared to the carnivorous adult frog and what are we we are omnivores right so this brings us to the end of the digestive system of frogs so as i end the video you can take your time to sink in all the similarities that you just learned between a frog and your digestive system